Throughout this video, I'll show you two different ways in how you can add a cart icon to your WooCommerce menu. So the first method is we'll use code to add this cart icon to our menu. And then we'll go ahead and use a plugin to actually streamline the user experience. So instead of the users going to the cart page and then the checkout page, we'll just show the cart in a pop-up format and then they can review the cart and then just click checkout. So essentially it bypasses a extra click. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, here we're actually using a custom code to display this cart item here. And here it's showing us the cart name. It's letting us know that we've got two items in our basket. And it's letting us know that the total is $31, right? So this is the first method. If we click on it, it'll take us directly over to the cart page here. If we head back over to our home page, the other method, which I recommend, is have this floating cart icon here. So essentially what we can do is is when the customer has no items in their basket we can just completely hide this cart icon and then as soon as they add a item to their basket we can set this cart to automatically open like this and in here they can actually go ahead and review their items they can remove it increase the quantity and then just navigate straight to the checkout when they're ready okay so let's get started with the code method first so i'll leave a link in the description below to the code that i'll be using Right, so essentially we'll just head over to our dashboard. I'm gonna navigate over to appearance and then theme file editor. But in your case, you might wanna use a code snippet plugin. So it just makes it easier to manage all the different custom codes that you might wanna add to your website. I'm just navigating over to theme function.php and then I've already got the code here, but let's go ahead and paste it again. Okay, so a few things to note here where it says function exists, it's um, getting a cart URL and then here, we've got the menu set to our primary menu location so if i go let's navigate over to menus here we've actually got our primary menu location right okay so we can change the location here and we can change the cart icon so this is using the awesome font library right so if we head over to awesome font okay we can search for a cart icon Okay, got lots of pro um, icons. Okay, so I guess we're quite limited. So I'm going to choose this cart plus icon here. So it's just cart and then dash plus. So let's head back over to our code and we will change this to just cart plus, right? Dash and then plus. Okay, let's say we didn't want to display the item count. We just wanted to display the total. We can actually go ahead and comment this out. Okay, and I'm just going to remove this section of the code here. Let's change this here as well. You can actually just delete this. Okay, so let's hit update. All right, and let's check our shop page. Okay, so now it's got this new cart icon and it's just showing a total, which is fine, right? So when we click on it, it will take us directly over to our cart page. So everything's working exactly as it should. So this is method one. If you're not comfortable in customizing um, code, personally, I recommend just use the plugin method. Okay, so the plugin we'll be using is the all-in-one checkout plugin. So we just head over to aovup.com. And then we just want to download this particular checkout plugin here. You can download the free version, it's fine. Um, we just need a free version to be able to add this cart icon, right? Now, assuming you've downloaded this particular plugin, we'll just head back over to our dashboard. You want to upload a plugin, so plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, we'll navigate over to AIO checkout for all-in-one at checkout. And then essentially where it says mini cart, we just click on this option here, right? So you just want to make sure you enable um, this mini cart option here. Then you can choose the position and then just customize it accordingly, right? So for example, we can hide it um, when the cart's empty. If you're using a pro version, we can add upsells and stuff like that within the cart area. Okay, so that's that. We can enable the coupon field. We can enable a free shipping progress bar, right? So this will encourage customers to spend more to meet that free shipping threshold. And we can automatically open our mini carts whenever the item's been added to their basket. So again, we're just trying to make everything as frictionless and as convenient for our customers. Once you're happy with everything, we can hit save. 
on the design tab as well, we can customize um, the design. So if you didn't want a green icon, you can go ahead and change that. So let's preview our changes. OK, so here we've got our cart icon, right? And it's just letting us know that we're $69 away from unlocking free shipping. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.